The most important factor in survival is neither intelligence nor strength but adaptability. Great is the power of steady misrepresentation, but the history of science shows that fortunately, this power does not long endure. The highest stage in moral culture at which we can arrive, is when we recognize that we ought to control our thoughts. One general law, leading to the advancement of all organic beings, namely, multiply, vary, let the strongest live and the weakest die. The young and the old of widely different races, both with man and animals, express the same state of mind by the same movements. Everything in nature is the result of fixed laws. The love for all living creatures is the most noble attribute of man. If I had my life to live over again, I would have made a rule to read some poetry and listen to some music at least once every week. If the misery of the poor be caused not by the laws of nature, but by our institutions, great is our sin. We stopped looking for monsters under our bed when we realized that they were inside us. The mystery of the beginning of all things is insoluble by us, and I for one must be content to remain an agnostic. An American monkey, after getting drunk on brandy, would never touch it again, and thus is much wiser than most men. The highest possible stage in moral culture is when we recognize that we ought to control our thoughts. Intelligence is based on how efficient a species became at doing the things they need to survive. Man selects only for his own good, nature only for that of the being which she tends. I see no good reasons why the views given in this volume should shock the religious views of anyone. For the shield may be as important for victory, as the sword or spear. Freedom of thought is best promoted by the gradual illumination of men's minds which follows from the advance of science. Thank you for watching.